Arkansas for college baseball. Be careful out there. Got a little Halloween mixed in Easter as well as the LSU Tigers and Arkansas Razorbacks finish off a three-game weekend series. Yeah, Brady Tiger, he's got special stuff. That fastball is going to sit in that low 90s. And the breaking ball is still there. The spin rate's off the charts. But, again, control is going to be the key for Brady Tiger. Can Thanks. he spot that? White hitting in a 322 clip. Lifts that in the air. Rather deep right field. Digs is back. He's going to run out of room. That is career home run number 60 for Tommy Tanks. A big round number, and he starts the game with an opposite field home run. Give Div the Tigers the lead. We well, wonder why he was leading off. Well, he starts the game with a home run. That's a pretty good way to lead off. But matters. Teams haven't hit him. That's a swing and a foul tip for strike three. The Tommy White hit that got out today. 2-2. Two -two. There's that breaking ball, a little more bite. Mint mixers are just up there spinning. 3-2 pitch. Came back and threw it again. He went curveball heavy. Strikes out three in a row after the leadoff home run. Messed up. Things have slowed down for Vahiva. He strokes one to left field. Hit well. Back towards the wall. It's going to go. A home run from Aloy. Each team is homered in this first inning, and we're off to a long ball start at Bob Walker. Number six for Vahiva. Aloha does mean goodbye. And that stroke continues. He's really not expanding the strike zone near that he did. A hanging breaking ball. He hit that ball really well. How about 112 off the bat of Vahiva Loy? I mean, the ball just comes off his bat different. Didn't get out by a whole lot, but hey, it looks like a blast in the book. It was his welcome to Arkansas moment. And then he lines one in the center for a base hit, falling in front of Bingham. I know it's March 30th, Troy, but sometimes it takes a big moment to <laughs> spread it around. Opportunity outmaker. That might drop. Going out as Braswell, and it will be caught. I thought he was in no man's land, but he made the catch. Pull up on those metal bleachers, and you, you know it's really crowded. <laughs> it's a good at bat by Jared Sprague Lott. You know, Kip Fallon off several pitches, I think three. See if Sprague Lott is going, he is not. And the 3 2 pitch is grounded to short. Braswell with another nice play, and he throws to second base, but safe. Sprague Lott able to get there to beat the throw from Braswell, who made another fantastic defensive effort. Arkansas trying to take their first lead. Ground ball up the middle. Braswell races to second base. On to first double play right at Braswell. So even the speedy Wilmsmeyer could not beat it out to give Arkansas. I think these two teams do as good of a job of that as anybody. And Braswell, the former Gamecock, gets hit by a pitch. And that's something that uh, Arkansas. Three and one to count. Ground ball to right for a base hit. So the eight and nine hitters will reach in front of Tommy White, who's already homered today. And that's not the way. Here's the pitch. He did. Ground ball to short. Could be two. Aloy to Stovall on to first. McLaughlin has to apply the tag. And the Razorbacks get a double play of their own. Well, he hits the ball so hard. I mean, that's 97 off the bat. And you can see that Stovall almost kind of airmailed that one just a little bit. That's a great job by McLaughlin coming off the bat. You're not going to get a hit. You're not going to beat me right here. High fly to right field. This ball starts to carry off the bat of Larson. Diggs is back there, nearing the wall, leaping high, and that is gone. How about the home run from Larson? I thought Diggs might have a chance to jump up and make the grab, but instead it's a two-run homer for the Tigers, and they're back in front. It feels like it's 340 instead of 380. That ball's tagged to left and hit well. This ball's going to carry above the bullpen and gone. Mac Bingham homers. Three long balls providing four runs for the Tigers today, and LSU has taken a lead of three. So taking advantage of walks is important, and then taking advantage of one big inning has also been important. Now Edmondson had an infield base hit in the second. He'll get a base hit in the right here in the fourth. A couple of two-out base runners by the Razorbacks. They'll bring the tying run of the plate. 0-2. Oh, Ripped into left. That's a base hit. Did he hit it too hard? Sprague Lott will be held at third base, and the answer is yes. Hit that ball so hard at 107 that Arkansas could not score. Sprague Lott from second base, and the bases are loaded. Wilmsmeyer bounced into a double play to end last inning. Grounds one in the left. That's a base hit. Sprague Lott will score. Edmondson heading to the plate. The throw's online, but late. Two score on the single by Wilmsmeyer. It's a 4-3 game. 
0 for 2. You know he'd love to come through against his home state team, and he does with a base hit in the right field. Helfrich around third will score to tie the game, and the throw comes in. Runners on the corners. Stomo with the RBI, a 4-4 contest. Same sequencing took place. He was expecting a fastball. He got a fastball and homer. Bouncer here to White at third base, and he will make the play to retire Vahiva Loy in the inning. Arkansas will strand a couple of runners, but they do score three. Brand new. Back in the second, and the payoff is poked into right for a base hit. So Tigers have their leadoff runner on base for the third time. Transfer from Nebraska, and Frank is a guy that's just going to fill up the strike zone. Throws a lot of strikes. Big. In a 4-4 game. Pulled the string again, didn't he? Change up. There from Raleigh. Tommy White with a chop at the third. That is a fair ball. Throw to second for an out. Back to first. Double play. Twice today. White is into a double play, and the Hawks turn it to get out of the inning. Fair ground, and he takes his time and makes a great feed to Peyton Stovall, the 5-4-3 DP. Strikes to the dangerous Hayden Travinsky. Little ball poked in the air down the line and right. McLaughlin racing. How about the running grab? from Benny Barrels contending with the tarp. I didn't think he had a chance to make that play. He just never gave up on it. Slightly more regular bases. Hard hit, and that is a fair ball. Down the line and left. Edmondson will cruise towards second base. Played back in by Larson, and the Razorbacks have the go-ahead run at second base to lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. Right, really, for Ackenhausen. That ball hit in the air, deep center field. Back goes Bingham. Ballpark will hold it. Catch is made. Edmondson will tag. He'll go to third and twice today. Helfrich has advanced a runner on a fly out. And Ackenhausen would really love a strikeout. The pitch, a little tapper, back to the mound. Edmondson's going to try to score. He's safe. He went to the back tip of the plate with a dive. And he got in under the tag of Neal. LSU wants a review for the time being. Arkansas has its first lead at 5-4. You see... At the backhand of the play, I I think he's there. That's you can see the home plate umpire try to make that tag. Stovall drives one high in the air, deep right field. Pearson back to the wall, and it's gone. It just cleared the fence in right center, and the Louisiana native Peyton Stovall has connected for a two-run homer, and Arkansas has scored the last six runs in the game. It's a 7-4 Razorback lead. He got it up, and it carried out. Maybe the second time in this game, Troy, we've seen a fan take off his uh, shirt and whip it around in a ball that just went up so high, kind of backspun or carried beyond the fence. Well, that was just a little bit too early. Chopper to second. Stovall is able to charge to get that short hop and retire Pearson. Well, but it came into the righty, so a 2-1 pitch here. That one wow. sacked to left field. Bingham hits one back towards the bullpen and beyond, way up in the hog pen. The second homer of the game for Bingham, 437 feet. And a Tiger fan gets the baseball, and LSU's back in this game. It's a 7-5 contest. That was 2-1 pitch. Little flare over the leap of Alloy. I thought maybe he had timed his jump perfectly. But Braswell had enough to carry that ball into left field, and he's been. This is Brady Neal. Hits a mile high, fly ball to left field. High sky today. Edmondson starting to drift, but he makes the catch. As well as Arkansas. Thought Diggs might get something to hit. He did not. He was content to take ball four. And Arkansas with the base runner. And since Bingham is, he is going, and the pitch is strike three, and the throw down is not in time, but. Sprague Lott stepped in front of the catcher, Neal. So that means Kendall Diggs is going to be out. And this is a rule I hate, but I understand it. Let's see it Diggs again is here. Sprague Lott is going to swing. Oh, no, he walks yeah, in he front of him. Yeah, he walked in front of him. The biggest storyline now in this weekend is Hunter Dietz on to pitch. You talk a young man who has all kinds of acclaim that has preceded him, but this is his first opportunity to get on the mound. He was How that good against Arkansas's hitters. But he walks Tommy White here. And, Troy, this is the tough part about bringing this kid in in this situation, considering. 
Bouncer over the head of McLaughlin, who was holding the runner, even though he wasn't going anywhere. And runners are at first and second. Troy should ball one strike to the DH for the Tigers. Hard hit up the middle. Aloy with the bobble. He's still going to have a chance at first, and he gets the out, but no double play. And there's two runners in scoring position, and that's a way to rebound. Tough pitch to hit him with two strikes. And he did get him on that elbow. Was he leaning in at all? Helfrich kind of made the motion that Pearson leaned in. Yeah, tough jam for McIntyre to come in. He needs to try to get a punch out. You see the 40 Ks and five walks. So you know that McIntyre is going to fill up the zone. He's going to throw a lot of cutters. McIntyre is offering. Cut on and missed. Strike three. McIntyre will strand three Tigers and maintain this Arkansas lead into the bottom of the eighth inning. What a huge pitch in this ball game. Again, we talked about this whole weekend being a heavyweight fight, and McIntyre just drops that cutter right off the table. Hmm. Still ball at first, a 2 2 pitch. Wave and a miss. Good pitch. Strike three. And long pause. Pitch timer is a two when the pitch comes home, and McLaughlin lifts one to left, and that is now Bingham, and he's going to track it down to end the inning. So Arkansas does not get any insurance. They strand a runner. On we go to the ninth. Last chance for the Tigers. Down by two. Is providing. He's going to swing away, and he lifts one in the air to left field. This ball's carrying pretty well. Wilmsmeyer, the captain of the outfield, calls off Edmondson to make that grab. He had a little better angle. Right. Big 3-1 pitch. And there's a base runner. That is a huge walk. Tigers will bring the tying run to the plate. It also means Tommy White. Hard hit. McLaughlin has it deflect off his glove. Stovall can't pick it up, and there's two runners on base with one out. Helfrich wants it in. That ball lifted in the air to left field. Down into the corner. Will this one stay fair? It is a foul ball. Home run distance way up above the seats. In the bases for the Tigers. And the pitch from McIntyre. A liner to third, a throw back to second, double play! The third double play that Tommy White hit into today. And the Razorbacks sweep LSU out of town, and they've won 17 straight home games. A new Baumwalker Stadium record. A game of inches indeed. And the inches and the victory went to the Razorbacks this afternoon. Tommy White, he's playing well off the line. Look where he catches this baseball and no chance for the runner at second base. And that is a huge sweep for Arkansas Razorback. Troy, how about 17 straight wins at Baumwalker Stadium? It's just phenomenal, this Arkansas team. You know, the epitome of consistency, and it all starts right there with Dave Van Horn.